find least common multiple LCM by ladder division. This is one of the most efficient ways of finding least common multiple. So I'll demonstrate this with this video and then you can take some practice problem and I'm sure you like this method. Now here is how it is to be done. Let's try to find least common multiple LCM is the short form of 18 and 30. So this is a neat way of writing it. So LCM of 18 and 30. So we do it by repeated division. So it's kind of making an inverted division column like this and writing the numbers in them. So let's write down the numbers which we have. These are 18 and 30. Now the idea is to factor out the common prime factors out of these. So we'll concentrate on what are the common prime factors between these two numbers and divide them by those numbers. So both are even, so let's start with 2. So we can have 2 and we'll divide 18 by 2, we get 9. And if we divide 30 by 2, you get 15. Now we see 3 is a common factor between the two. So let's divide it by 3. So we'll go another letter down. So we get 3 goes 3 times in 9 and 5 times in 15. Now we have all the prime factors here. 2, 3, 3 and 5. That gives us the least common multiple between the two given numbers. So we can get our answer as LCM equals to product of these prime factors. So they are 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And now you can multiply them and get the answer. Multiplication? Well, the most convenient is 5 times 2 first, right? That gives you 10, right? And then 3 times 3 is 9. So you get 10 times 9 and that is 90. So the LCM for 18 and 30 is 90. Now think about writing multiples of 18 and 30 and then getting the answer. That will be very time consuming. So this method of letter division is very efficient and it can be applied to two or more numbers. Now let's see how to apply this method with three numbers. So let's try to figure out what is the LCM of 14, 20 and 35. So we'll again make a division column here and list our numbers. The numbers for us are 14, 20 and 35. Try to find prime numbers which can divide into at least two of them to start with or all three of them, right? Well, we really don't have any number which could divide into all three of them, right? So let's start with two of them. So the prime number 2 is a good number to start with always. Now if you divide by 2, what do you get? 2 goes 7 times in 14, 10 times in 20 and 2 is not a factor of 35. So in this case, just copy the number 35 as such. Correct? But at least we factored out 2 from 14 and 20 and we are a step closer to the least common multiple. Do you understand? That is the concept. Now, the common factors between these could be 7. 35 is 7 times 5. So we can divide it by 7. 7 goes one time. 10 is, does not have 7 as a factor. So you cannot divide 10 by 7. So we'll copy the composite number 10 as such. 35 goes 5 times. 7 times 5 is 35. Now you can see that we have 10 and 5 which has a common factor of 5. So let's divide by 5. Retain 1 here. 10 goes 2 times and 5 1 time. So now again we have all prime numbers with us. LCM is product of these prime numbers. We can write LCM as 2 times, 7 times, 5 times, 2. So write down all the prime numbers. 1, you could have written, remember one thing, 1 truly is not a prime number, right? Prime numbers are numbers which have at least two factors. In fact, they have exactly two factors. 
1 and number itself. 1 has only one factor, 1 and 1, right? That is just one number, right? And even otherwise, multiplying by 1 gives you the same number, right? Now let's multiply them. So, good order to multiply is 2 times 7 will be 14 and 5 times 2, 10. So it is 14 times 10. And that gives us the answer 140. So you see how efficient this method is to find common multiples. I would like you to do common multiples of or the least common multiple of some numbers. Let me change few numbers from here. So I'm changing these numbers and say LCM of, so I'm making 14 as 28, 10, and let's retain 35. So try to find LCM for this set of numbers. And on this side, let me give you as your practice problem LCM for 15 and 36. Correct? Right? This will help you to practice and understand how to find LCM by letter division. Thank you.